this election. And I'm telling everyone out there, we are watching from every angle. We, there's people in every state, every county, every precinct, Brandon. Remember, you, they might think you can't look and see what's going inside that black box. But we can now in real time through something called the Edison Report, everybody. We have cyber guys watching this. We, I looked at a thing today. It was on my, my Twitter back from November of 2020. And they showed CNN. 20,000 votes dropping right off of Donald Trump's total. There is going to be a big problem this election. And maybe the problem is that you, Mike Lindell, are manipulating and spying on ballot boxes to stop people you think are manipulating and spying on ballot boxes. As with most things my pillow related, this rant is completely unhinged and rooted in lies. But as we've seen over the past two years, Mike Lindell's rants have gone from being fringe screeds on right-wing sites to completely accepted by the establishment GOP. The truth is that Joe Biden did not win with 81 million votes. And if, and if you believe he did, then you are the conspiracy theorist. We all know this in this room. We know that our election was rife with fraud and we know what's going on. But what's going on in our elections is not going to be going on much longer because we're going to get to the bottom of it. Here's candidate Carrie Lake throwing doubt on the fact that Joe Biden won the Electoral College, despite all 50 states certifying his election. I'm honestly not sure. Is she trolling here? I hope she is because this is ridiculous. But sadly, I don't think she is. Because what she's peddling is the new rallying cry of the electoral far right regarding what's called the Independent State Legislature Clause in the Constitution, which is a reframing of how the Constitution defines state legislature legislatures that would give state legislatures authority to gerrymander electoral maps and pass voter suppression laws. Okay, we got to back up. So the U.S. Constitution delegates power to administer federal elections to the states, which are then subject to congressional override. There is, however, disagreement about how much power is delegated to the states and to which state actors exactly. And this is where the debate stands today. According to the Brennan Center for Justice, this dispute hinges on how to understand the word legislature. The long-running understanding is that it refers to each state's general lawmaking processes. So because a state's constitution subjects legislation to being blocked by a governor's veto or a citizen referendum, the new argument from the right is that election laws can be blocked via the same means. Basically, believers in this new interpretation of the framework insist that these clauses give state legislatures exclusive and near absolute power power to regulate federal elections. The result? When it comes to federal elections, legislators would be free to violate the state constitution and the courts couldn't stop them. Again, all of this info can be found on the Brennan Center for Justice's website. So it's not just like Mike Lindell and Carrie Lake in their 4chan Reddit echo chambers. This conflict is now literally headed to the Supreme Court. And the court's decision could alter how elections are handled, changing hundreds of years of established precedent. And we all know that with the current makeup of the Supreme Court, it's not out of the realm of possibility that our election systems will be irrevocably demolished in the near future. Thanks so much for watching. You can follow me on all platforms at Caro Johnson 917.